Beatmaker da Canto. Today we are in uh, New York City. We're at Ramscale Studios doing an awesome project with Otterbox. These guys built a wall out of cases for me. It's kind of awesome. And I'm lacing it with some uh, crazy artwork. It's going to be great by the time it's finished. So can't wait for everyone to see it. The whole process has been pretty fluid. Kind of came in, set all my paint down, and they had everything built for me, so it was great. And it was just a matter of looking at the sketch, trying to figure out what I was going to do, and you know, really just making it happen. So what I'm doing is I'm treating the cases as my full-on canvas. And normally whenever I work, I'll lay down all the base layers, just colors and textures and all sorts of things. And that's really just to sort of like get it going. Tonight we're gonna switch over to acrylic paint so this way I can add more layers on top of what I already have and uh, get a nice mix going and integrate the two of them. I used to live in Queens and I used to work in Soho. So for those of you who are not in New York, that's about an hour and a half ride every day. So I needed something to do on the train besides like sit there and stare at people. So I would bring my sketchbook. One day, he came out. His name is Miro. He's a small, chubby little blue dragon. And I have just sort of like took to him and I started painting him all over the streets. And over the years, he's just sort of become like my icon. I don't have to sign a wall, I can draw him and people know it's me. I think that from what I heard, there's a few lucky people that are coming through tonight. And this is all for the launch of the uh, new Otterbox Symmetry case that has come out. The artwork fits very well in the cases and it looks great. And a few people are gonna walk out with some cases tonight. It's gonna be awesome. This has been by far one of the most creative projects I've been on. And I think it's really, really cool that Otterbox is sort of like branching out into like the street art and graffiti world to sort of, you know, see what the possibilities are.